This is a piecewise function uh, graph question. So if you remember with piecewise functions, this is what we graph on the left side. This, this, this. And then uh, the... Let me erase. Kind of went over. Whoops. Uh, and then this is where we graph. So which x values we graph it for. So I'm going to do my graph in red. Uh, the first one, so it tells me this right here, tells me to do y equals x squared, but only when x is less than negative 1. So I know that y equals x squared uh, passes through the point negative 1, comma 1. So I'm going to put an open circle at negative 1, 1. And I do that because it says less than. It doesn't include that negative 1. If it said less than or equal to negative 1, then I would, I would do a, a closed circle. So then I need to go and do some points from x squared. And remember, we've got 0, 0. We've got negative 1, 1, which is the point that I just put the open circle for. My next point is uh, negative 2, 4. So I'm going to go back negative 2 and up 4 right here and put a point. Uh, my next point on y equals x squared is negative 3, 9, and that's not on this graph, so I'm going to just kind of leave that as is, and then indicate that it keeps going up that direction. So that was the first part. Now I need to do this uh, intermediate part. So that says follow 2x, my, or 2x when x is between um, negative 1 and 1. Notice right here there's a less than or equal to sign, so I'm going to put a closed dot at negative 1. I'm going to put an open dot here. So y equals 2x passes through the origin, so I'll put a little dot right there, tempted dot, and it's got a slope of 2, so I'm going to fill in my slope of 2, and I'm going to put a solid dot, and I'm going to make it nice and big, so that I can see it clearly, and I can tell that it's not an open circle at that negative 2. Then I'm going to follow up, and maybe I'll draw my open circle first, because I only follow it until I get to x equal to 1, and I will connect those lines like that. Now that I have the middle part, I just go ahead and do the last part. So I need to go ahead and graph this. Uh, one mistake, so that's the line y equals negative x plus 6. One mistake that people commonly make is they say, oh, and I start at x equal to uh, 1. So you say, all right, let me start at 6 and then draw my line that goes down like that and has a slope of negative 1. Um, that's not right because this thing, if I were to follow it backwards, would have a slope, or I would have an y-intercept of negative se or a positive 7. So what I need to do instead is maybe I'll go ahead and draw the line. So this would be y equals x minus 6. I'm going to go through all these points correctly, like that. Um, notice it has the y-intercept of 6, and it has a slope of negative 1, which is exactly what this guy has right here. But what I need to do is not start it until I get to x equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is erase a little bit so that it doesn't start till x equal to 1. And then I'm going to put a solid dot like that, and then I'm going to connect up. And that is my graph. And I just want to check to make sure that my dots are in the right spot um, and that everything else is good to go. And it is. So I'm done.